ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة But it is the youth, my brothers and sisters. It is not the grey-bearded ones, by and large. It is the youth that are caught by shahawat. And it is they who are caught by the shubahat. Because of their self-confidence. And their amazement with their own intellect. And their amazement with themselves. And this is why when you look at the a'imma of al-Islam, the likes of Abdul Aziz bin Baz in this time, or in the era that is before this era. And the likes of Ibn Uthaymeen and the likes of Al-Albani, they were not shaken by all of the fitan that appeared in their time and they were numerous. Likewise in this time that we live in now, you look at the great a'imma of our age, the likes of Al-Fawzan and Al-Luhidan and Abdul Aziz al-Sheikh and Rabi al-Madkhali, they are not shaken by the fitan. You don't find them going out and speaking upon jahl and making accusations and abusing the people and calling them names and calling Fulan Ahir and Fulan Zani. You don't find that from the tongues of the A'imma of Al-Islam. Why? Because the A'imma, they guide the people. They don't set wicked examples and they are not cowards because they speak the haq and they don't hide in their secret gatherings and they don't whisper behind shadows. Because they are imams of the sunnah and they speak the haq and they don't fear the blame of the blamers. But it is the shabab, my brothers and sisters, when they see a mistake from someone and their love of that person and their ta'asub towards that person and their taqlid of that person and maybe they don't even know him and they didn't even sit with him. But they will blindly follow because they are amazed with their own abilities. And they are amazed with their own intellect. And they haven't learned from those who came before them. Because they don't learn. Because they are ignorant. And they don't have the ability to understand. And that is why just a few days ago when we sat with Sheikh Rabi'ah, Sheikh Rabi said, make them understand. Inform them and make them understand. Don't leave the haq. For your ta'asub to fulan and fulan. For your fanaticism for fulan and fulan that you don't even know in reality but you think you know. Because you are so wise. Huh? You are so wise and you are so old that you have realized the affairs of the dunya and you think you know. And that's why you have to whisper in the shadows and you don't come out and you don't talk. You think you know. This is the downfall of the youth. When he abandons the imams and he takes the people of falsehood as his leaders. So he will go astray. And we have seen over the decades how many people went astray. Because they are amazed with their own opinions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from this ta'ajjub. From this self-amazement. And this idea that you know better. And you abandon the imams of the sunnah. For what, my brothers and sisters? For what? Why do these shabab do this? Except that they are amazed with their own opinions. Wallahu al-musta'an.